Should be all I need. to propose that to defer that until we get to the city matters update then and so we can move on to new business okay thank you new business first up resolution 20 or 2021-2 can you just walk us through that real quick mr mayor yep uh, what I'm going to do is read the title and then invite Parker up to describe the statutory requirements for this. But this is resolution number 2021-2. It's a resolution of the Mass and Redevelopment Commission determining the need to capture incremental assessed valuation. Parker. So um, as Mayor mentioned, this is the second, well, this is the second report requirement for the year by the Redevelopment Commission. Uh, this one accomplishes um, each year we need to give notice to the county auditor basically saying that we have demonstrated the need to collect the revenues This is looking at 2022 uh, So this was a quick and easy uh, requirement since we do have a pretty accurate picture of the next few years um, So it's basically looking at next year's revenues. Are we looking at spending over half of those? Uh, we are we will not be passing through any assessed values. We've demonstrated the need to collect all of it. so um, Resolution will will um, Accomplish that. Exhibit A is basically show the financial picture of each of the funds of each of the air allocation areas the RDC has, and then um, 
once this is approved tonight, we'll be moving forward, sending out mailers to all the underlying units, and you guys will accomplish the second one. Any questions or anything, guys? Thank you. Partner, I may just add, uh, ask you and explain what the other statutory requirement was that we did earlier. I thought we did it earlier this year, actually. The or toward the end of last year. The first one was on the spot here. Um, June 1st is passed through. This one is passed through as well. You approved last year's financials the first of the year. This one's passed through. This is going to accomplish this part of the year. Moving forward, we'll be focusing a little more headwards as well. So. Um, whereas the first of the year we're looking at last year's picture. Um, now that we've done that, we're moving into kind of how the city's moving into budgeting season for next year. Uh, the REC is kind of moving into their form of the budgeting season for next year as well. And how often is it that we have to do the... There are four. There are four. Okay. four. So okay. throughout the year, one of them is doesn't have an official date, um, but it's, it's, it's annually. So. Um, it looks like, it looks at, um, it shows tip impact, so as I kind of demonstrated to you guys, or mentioned to you guys, uh, that's what we did last year, end of last year. Um, that one is not necessarily owed on any specific date, uh, it just fits well with timelines towards the end of the year, so. Thank you, Mark. Absolutely. Great, thank you. Next up, airport water infrastructure. Do we need to do we need to pass that resolution? Yes, let's pass that resolution. We need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. All in favor? So moved. Thank you. Good. Yes, sir. Mr. Dick Goodman. Thank you. Uh, Dick, may I ask you to just turn the mic on there? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here representing the airport. Uh, we've been working on a uh, uh, opening up the uh, south terminal area for development. We were putting some water lines in, and uh, in the course of doing that, uh, we found uh, that our water flow to the uh, fire hydrant to the main area of the airport is uh, uh, woefully inadequate. Uh, we had the fire department come out and do a flow test. I, I don't have the exact numbers. We got a, uh, a picture of it here, though. Sure, that's Which probably tells us. Plug into the. Uh, that's full flow. Uh, Brent, do you want to? Into I couldn't find the HDMI port to do it. So, right so in technical terms, that's not much. <laughs> so uh, what we're looking to do is, uh, that's a three inch line coming in from Borshening Road. What we're wanting to do is put a six inch line in. Uh, we've got two quotes for that. Uh, one was uh, 31,300 and the other is 28,500. So we're looking for funding to bring the main water line in to f provide the protection for the city property, which is the hangar in the terminal building. Um, we've already uh, contracted ourselves to put the rest of the water in that's going to the south uh, uh, hangar area. So that's, uh, that's our request. Okay. Questions? Just a little, uh, let me press pause for a second. I'm sorry. No, that's all right, just kidding. It's not, it's not that's all right, just kidding. Thank you. Um, so, um, the Aviation Board has done a fantastic job of doing several things, obviously, at our airport. One was recently getting awarded uh, a, northern, a northern runway approach, fantastic, after years of effort. And here, this is about expanding hangar development and also improving fire safety at the airport, which is why we want to support it. It's already part of the City of Madison's redevelopment plan to support the airport. Um, as, as Dick had indicated, they've done some water flow testing, it looks like We've got, to, we've got to work to improve the water pressure, maybe as far out as Clifty Drive, all the way up to all the way up to the airport, depending upon the actual flow results. Is that correct? We're hoping that just going to portion they will give us enough water. Flow testing is being done. Our chief uh, DeVries is involved, as well as our water department. Today's a preliminary meeting just to really um, describe the project with you. And, and also we'll give you an opportunity to ask uh, Dick any, any questions about the, the impact and the economic development activity that's going on out there. And then what we would do procedurally is uh, at the next meeting adopt a resolution to provide certain funding uh, at a certain schedule for, for the airport. I think it's a really worthwhile uh, endeavor. Um, when we had the ribbon cutting a week or so ago for um, the airport, um, I had cited a, uh, an aviation study 
from the state of Indiana that was done literally a decade ago, and it said the economic impact of our airport on our economy is $100 million a year. And the jobs attributable to the impact from the airport is almost 400 jobs. So it's significant. And when we're talking about here maybe, you know, a few, thousands of dollars, it's not going to be an, an insurmountable amount of money that would not generate a, a quick return for that investment. So more, more to come on that, but that's why we wanted to prelude it. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, maybe, maybe Brent, next time we'll, we'll do it at the next meeting, and so you guys can really get a feel for the scale and the scope of the project, but it's basically about uh, water, the right amount of water volume and, and velocity uh, to the airport. One of the things is done well for us with the FAA in terms of getting discretionary funds is the amount of private investment we get at the airport. And we've had 34 hangars built previously and now working in the south area, uh, one new one up, there's a second one coming. Uh, and the one fellow that just built the one new is actually operating a business out of there. Right. So uh, he, he located here because of the airport. His business is largely internet based, although he has I think, six or eight employees that are around the country. But he, he actually operates out of his hangar at the airport. And uh, it, it's a valuable tool for us. And as I've often said, the airport's the community's front door. It's the first impression we make on people, it's the last impression when they leave. And uh, as they say in the uh, airport business, uh, a mile of uh, highway will take you a mile, but a mile of runway will take you anywhere. Everywhere. Like the internet. <laughs> anyway. He's, he's also fond of saying, sky's the limit. <laughs> a blue side up the other <laughs> yeah. uh, Board, any questions for Dick? We'll uh, we'll have a more thorough presentation next time. This is a preview, and just a minute, just to remind you that this is part of the economic development plan that was adopted by the, by the commission in 2017. I hope the next time I see you, I'll do yeah. so I hope so. That's you right. Get around really well. Well, I'm tired of it. <laughs> He's the new six million dollar man. Yeah. With inflation, it's $12 million. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Brent. Any other questions or comments? Thank you. Next up, City Matters. Mr. Mayor. Okay, a few things here. I'll just mention that we did close on the Ruler Building uh, last week, so thank you for your support there. The acquisition is complete. Um, I'll get into a little bit more of what our plans for that. Um, we are working on a transition plan now since uh, Matt Worth has left to go back to the private sector. We have quite a bit in place already. Uh, we have a small business rescue fund that will make an announcement uh, later this month for a new round of, of COVID related uh, resilient grants. We're also going through the annual compliance requirements for tax abatements. We have only a handful of, of uh, tax abatements through through the city that we will uh, be working with those uh, companies on. I believe those are due probably by the end of the month. Uh, they'll come to the city council meeting in a couple of weeks. And, um, and the other, really, the big things are the, are the fact that I highlighted at our last meeting ARP money and ready grant funds that are part of uh, the state budget and the American Rescue Plan Act. So we'll, we're working with Jefferson County and then uh, we'll also be attending a meeting this Friday uh, with the Southern Indiana Redevelopment Authority to start talking about the submission requirements for different projects. There's going to be a call for projects. We're already compiling and meeting uh, with lots of different organizers across the city as well as the things that we're doing but we're going to have a lot of uh, either infrastructure or quality of life quality of place capacity building projects to submit for the rede redevelopment authorities consideration that'll go into a a singular redevelopment plan a regional redevelopment plan that will then be submitted to the IEBC and then by the end of this year they will um, award um, approximately 50 million dollars per uh, region, um, it's going to be 10 regions across the state, and we want to make sure that we're in line for our share of capital. Um, we are we are now evaluating proposals for interim development services. 
Uh, so while we are having a, a recruiting effort underway for a new uh, economic development officer for the city of Madison, we will contract with a firm for third party development services so that our high priority initiatives um, do not have any, uh, any lag associated with them. And so we're reviewing, we're reviewing some proposals now for those, for those services in the interim while we recruit for Matt's replacement. Uh, Parker didn't mention this, but if you look at the financial plan, you'll see that our next um, uh, tax installment, uh, approximately at $1.6 million, should be received sometime later this month. Clerk, is that correct? And Parker, based should on your be, uh, Maybe even this week. Okay. Probably def definitely next week. Okay. And, uh, you know, while we have a lot of things identified in our plan, it's still very fluid. Things can be moved around from a timing perspective. One change that we did make in, um, in concert with the Crystal Beach Award, um, for that two point, we went in, the Board of Public Works has awarded the $2.5 million restoration contract to the pool group so that we can start on the restoration of Crystal Beach at the end of this pool season. And, um, the, the Redevelopment Commission had previously committed match money towards stellar projects. So as we move those funds around between projects, we're gonna make sure that between the City of Madison and the Redevelopment Commission and the $2 million OCA grant that we received, that there's sufficient resources there uh, to have committed to the $2.5 million. So it was a, just a subtle change. Honestly, didn't affect the budget uh, at all uh, the, or the financial plan at all just how and when we spend it and what we spend it on inside the, the group of stellar projects. Uh, we did meet with the stellar executive committee, went over all that with them, and everybody was in agreement that we absolutely, I think Karen, you were there, uh, absolutely in agreement that we have to move forward with the Crystal Beach plan, otherwise we will have no community swimming pool. So that's really basically it. Quick question. A on lot going on, yep. On the, uh, projected revenue, how close was the projection to the actual? And then, is that, go, I saw it went up from last year, but. So it, it went up a little bit, yeah. mainly because of uh, assessed values um, came in higher than where they were originally at late last year, whenever they were first sent to us. Well, and there's two parts to that. I might just uh, add a little bit of what Parker was saying. If you remember, one of the things that we did last year was we basically did this, is it called a neutralization? Where, where we, we looked at all the assessed values of all the parcels inside each uh, TIF allocation area. And we took out those that had declining assessed values. So effectively, it was diluting the overall revenues collected by the TIF district. So we took those out and then added them back in so that it would get a new base assessment. Mm -hmm. that, so that, was done, that was decrement. Uh, that was done decrement. in late 2019. Okay. And over the past two years, you've seen a pretty good increase or steady increase in revenues okay. due to that very damn thing. Okay. All right, so that was how time flies already. It was, it was uh, over a year ago. But uh, that's also contributing to the increase is because we did that analysis and took out those parcels that were diluting the revenue stream from the TIF district. Thank you. Any more? We should be pretty spot on. In fact, I think you had already – uh, reconcile that with an abstract? Uh, yes, abstract, so at the time tax bills have been sent out now, so 100% what this is showing is going to be. My, minus delinquencies, so. Yep. Not gonna look. And then we're still working on a financing plan, so that, that is also part of our transition 